एवरी वन वेलकम बैक माई यूट्यूब चैनल सेल्स पर्सन दिस इज रोहित एंड टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू गेट एक्सटर्नल डेटा फ्रॉम ए वेब बेस्ड सर्विस इन टू फ्लो बिल्डअप विदाउट एनी कोड सो दिस इज अ न्यू फीचर अंडर स्प्रिंग ट्वेंटी थ्री रिलीज इन सेल्स फोर्स एंड इफ यू वॉन्ट टू लर्न समथिंग न्यू सो प्लीज वॉच दिस वीडियो अंटिल एंड बिकॉज आई वॉन्ट टू शो यू हाउ टू इंटीग्रेट दिस थर्ड पार्टी ए पी आईज इन साइड अवर फ्लो सो इट्स अ वेरी मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट Uh, if you are working as a Salesforce developer, administrator, LWC developer, any kind of you you have profile, so doesn't matter. So you can learn anything here, right? So let get it started without any further delay. So first of all, you have to sign up Spring twenty three release, or without this release all, you cannot get this feature, right? So you can go ahead here in this website like developer. So here you can see once you log. Once you enter this URL, now you can see Spring Twenty Three Preliminaries or sign up form. So you have to fill it and verify your org and change your password and just you can come back here. So I already did these things. You can do in your side, right? So this is the prerequisite inside this HTTP callout under the flow. So I want to use this Dog API. So let me tell you what is Dog API. So Dog API contains random images of the dog. So it's having the JSON body, and under this JSON body, we have status and message. There are two, you know, key inside this JSON. So based on this message, I want to display this, you know, Im random image inside our flow. So how to do that? Let me show you here. Just click on this flash. So it's automatic change your dog images again and again. Because it's a random image, so now you can see this one. So it's automatic fetch random dog image using this API. So how to use this API inside our flow in Salesforce? Very simple. So first of all, just you have to go in your Salesforce environment, and first of all, you have to create permission set for this user. So right now I'm a system administrator. So let me create one permission set for me. right so now here permission set just click on this permission set and uh, you will be see here like new button just click on this new button under this permission set you have to give name let's say dog permission set for example purpose right so now just click on this save button and once you saved it this is the new feature again inside permission set so you will be see somewhere like manage assignment right so just click on this manage assignment and you will be see different kind of you know like permission set assignment based on the duration let's say minute hours day year based on the uh, your requirement you can change it so just click on this add assignment this is the new one please focus on that one and just select your user and here you can see like next button just click on this one and now here you can see no expiry date specify the expiry date so based on your condition or based on your requirement you can choose second one or otherwise leave it as it is as a permanent so i'm using like no expiration date just click on this assign button and now you can see one assignment were successful here you can see the successful message right once you done these things now you have to go to this uh, uh, like credential right like name credential so you have to select this name credential here under this name credential we have two option previously it's only one but right now you can see the external credential just click on this external credential click on new and give the like dog demo for example purpose and just use this label and remove this space between the you know text because it's a api name here and additionally you can see the custom so you can choose auth 2.0 aws signature custom so right now i'm using custom just click on the save button and once you saved it now you can see inside one more option that is called permission set mapping so you have to map your permission set inside this one like name credential just click on this here you can see like dog permission set and click on this save so now you can see successfully permission set assigned to this name credential now you have to go to the named credential again and click on this first tab named credential 
click on this new button and give the name credential name let's say dog api integration or call out let's say call out right and uh, just copy this one paste it here and just remove these spaces like this and it's asking the url so let me copy this url here you can see that this is a random url so just you have to copy this one paste it in your notepad if you have any editors well and good otherwise leave it as it is so now you can see the url so i'm using this http dog.co api breeds images here only i need this url so just you have to copy it paste it here and uh, external credential you can see this one dog certification no need leave it as it is by default just click on the save okay once you've done it now you have to do one thing here just now you can see our name credential is ready now it's time to create our flow so how to create the flow very simple just you have to select here or search here like flows just click on this flows and click on this new new flow under this new flow you will be see here lots of options right so under this option here let me tell you here right so let's say i want to use screen flow so just you can choose first template or you can use based on your need any kind of template but right now i'm using screen flow just click select this template screen flow click on this create button so once you've done this one now you have to add your you know uh, component inside uh, this uh, canvas so this is this is the canvas window flow canvas window under this canvas window you have to add your elements so element is nothing it's a kind of data or you know interactions user interaction something like that right so based on your need you can choose it otherwise leave it as it is right okay so now you can see this is a screen right the screen flow just click on this plus icon select the action once you select the action immediately you can see under here that is called create HTTP callout beta so this is the new option let me highlight it in uh, spring 23 now you can see this is the new option so just you have to select this one once you select it just you can give any name as you want let's say dog api data something like that and without a space you have to give this name here like this and uh, name credential we already created the name credential click on the next and here also you have to give like name data or dog data for example purpose and method is should be get right and uh, here you can see the url and the path i want to use this path L let's say i already use this url from here to here right i need this path as well like random so just copy this random paste it in your flow like this right and uh, just click on this you know new and it's asking like some response body or response json right sample response so how to show that let me show you just copy this one copy and paste it in this body and just click on this review and now immediately you can see the message and status like data structure so this is the you know based on this key it's automatic showing this one so just click on this done click on again done and once you've done it now you can see it's asking final screen of the you know action so let's say dog api call out something like that just click on this done now you can see immediately our action is created now but how to show this image so directly we cannot show this images because our image is coming from you know api as a url so if you want to show any kind of images as a external url so directly we cannot show an inside our screen flow so if you want to use like display images so display images basically used for like static resource or you know inside your org images but if you have like external url you cannot do that so how to do that let me show you here so with the help of customization we can do that so under this gear icon just click on this developer console let me create one aura component for displaying the images right so under here just click on this file new 
and lightning component and uh, you can give any name as you want let's say now you can see successfully saved right after that you have to design your component so how to design this component let me show you here design is a very simple here just you have to give your attribute name let's say design right so let me select this design design colon attribute and your attribute name like name we already defined this URL right and the level level is close to image URL like image URL and self closing after that you have to give like design colon attribute name and the height right and the level you can give height self closing and again you have to define another attribute let's say design colon attribute name goes to width and then label width right width self closing so uh, if you want to use another one so you can use one let's say design colon attribute for align like name goes to align align label align align and then description you want to give like uh, align left right or center you can give it otherwise leave it as it is so now our component is ready let me save it uh, label we have some mistake under the label so let me check this label l a b e l oh this one b l just save it once you save it just you have to go to your you know uh, your flow this one let me save this flow first of all because again you have to create again this one so let's say dog api call out flow for example just save it and once you save it now you have to refresh this one this page and now you can see this one and after that you have to add your screen if you want to display the image under here just focus on that one custom under the custom you, you can see my component display image via URL just you have to drag and drop like this and API name you can give any name as you want let's say align center or something like that based on your need let's say center right you can give like this uh, I want to give like 500 height image URL you can find out this image URL inside this call, uh, API because we already implemented this HTTP callout inside our flow so just select it under the two XX we have two response we already mapped this JSON inside our you know response JSON sample message and status status and message right so just select this message just click on this you know uh, you can give any with here as well if you need it let's say 500 and click on this done button and here we have some problem let's see what happened okay so this is screen asking some name let's say display dog images click on this done button once you've done it now you have to connect your element uh, because I need to again and again this call so just click on this plus button now you can see my screen again automatic connect with my you know API and it will be showing this image again and again once you click on the next button so it's not over every time right so that is the meaning of this connecting element to each other now once you've done it now let me save it and before that let me show you one thing under the apex once you search this apex just click on this apex here and under this apex you can see immediately dynamic apex classes two apex classes created by you know external services via you know uh, name credential or you know the external services here so you can see this class if you want to open this class so you can open it like this and under this class we have lots of code here you can see it's a global class and this is the dog API 
uh, class name once you've done it now you have to click on this debug and now let's see what happened here so uh, hopefully it will be work so now here just click on this run and here hopefully you can see my you know images inside my screen flow using external api dog api right just click on the next so you can see randomly it's automatic change your image again and again now you can see let's say let me show you again images so just you have to uh, click on this next button again you will be see different kind of images again and again because it's a random images of the dog now you can see this one and here this is also dog and uh, here you can check any dog as you want right like this so finally you can see we already integrate this external api inside our flow so guys this is all about like external call out http call out inside our screen flow or any kind of flow you can use it but this is the way to integrate this external services inside our flow so guys i hope you learned something new in this video if you like this video please like share comments and please hit the bell icon for more updates you never be miss any kind of updates from my side please turn on that notification icon and till then bye bye take care see ya thank you for watching